Gordon's up next. He says, hey, guys, hope you're having a great day, and thank you very much for your help as usual. You're welcome, Gordon. Thank you for your questions, as always. I believe you have mentioned previously that popular shared web hosting providers like HostGator impede your SEO and ranking efforts. Can you briefly recap why? Uh, yeah, because there's a number of reasons. Number one is they're super inexpensive hosts. They're budget hosts, um, which means they overload their IP blocks. They overload their servers with, they allow too many sites. Remember guys, when you go to sign up for a, a shared hosting plan, for, you know, a budget hosting plan, they tell you unlimited sites and unlimited bandwidth and all that. But that's not really true. And number one, but number two, also what happens is they overload those IP uh, IP blocks with too many sites. And what happens is you end up with a lot of shitty, cheap SEO type sites, right? So affiliate spammers and uh, other SEOs and people that are just creating these stupid, ugly, um, sloppy sites that aren't put, you know, so th there, there ends up too many sites on the IP to begin with, but then you end up being what's it's being kind of a guilty by association. You can get mixed in to what's called like a bad neighborhood, right? In other words, if there's if there's 500 sites on your server, the server that you're, because it's a shared hosting pro for provider, there's 500 other sites on there alongside your site on that same IP. And then there's going to be a percentage of them that are just really shitty sites that could be de-indexed. They could be have manual penalties. They could have a number of things that are so that basically can it, guilty by association. Your your website can get caught up, but not just that. It's also because when you have that many sites on a, on just sharing an IP, if any one of them or any number of them are receiving a spike in traffic or a DDoS attack or something like that, it ends up killing the amount of bandwidth available for all of the other sites on that same IP. Does that make sense? So. What I found is if you were to use a cheap budget host, I would recommend doing something like putting uptime robot on it or some sort of uptime monitor that will allow you to, to notify you by, v, by email. And you can even set them up for text messages, which I don't recommend, um, except for really important sites. Uh, but it can email you or notify you when your sites go down. And what you'll see is if you put an uptime monitor on a shared hosting, a site that's on a shared hosting account, you will see how often the site goes down. And it's incredible how often those sites are unreachable, right? And it's because of other sites on that same IP receiving too much traffic and, and basically um, monopolizing all the bandwidth, available bandwidth. And there's just, you'll see. And once you see that, you'll realize how shitty cheap shared hosts are. So, uh, as far as can I recommend any? Yeah, on our semanticmastery.com slash resources page. There's the two that I would still recommend. Liquid Web, by the way, you guys are just seeing strike throughs because I've got a plugin that shows no follow links. But Liquid Web is our go-to choice for um, hosting. Um, you know, I, I would recommend that you get, because uh, you, can, you can actually sell hosting the clients. That's what I always recommend doing. So, you know, get, get a good hosting provider, get a good plan, and then you can turn around and sell, charge your customers, your clients for monthly hosting. What I do is I offer them a yearly monthly hosting or a yearly rate and then a monthly rate. So what I'll do is I'll charge a customer, a client, uh, basically like $180 for a year um, or $20 a month. Does that make sense? So it's up to them. They either pay $20 a month or $180 for the year. And I just do a PayPal subscription. So they get rebuild. Um, and, and then I, that way I'm actually making money on hosting too. And I just do that through my own hosting account. Um, Liquid Web. I also have WPX hosting, which is Terry Kyle's. That's also very, very good. Um, and that's very fast. And the support is amazing in both of those. So, and that's, by the way, that's the last part of that, that I would recommend another reason why not to use a budget host is because any issues you have, you're going to have to deal with support. Sometimes support will only be via email and not via live chat or phone. Uh, sometimes they're on completely different time schedules because they could be in India for all we know. And so you, every time you submit a support request, it takes 12 hours before they reply back. So support requests can get drawn out. Um, what I found is I've got some other hosts that I still use because I have sites that I never wanted to move. And I hate them because every time I got a problem, I've got to deal with that. But 
Liquid Web and WPX are both, I mean, they're instant fast. Like you submit a ticket and within minutes, you've got to reply somebody working on your issue. Um, it's incredibly fast. Marco, do you have any comments on that? Yeah, man. What I found is that, is that budget hosting actually you lose money because of all the time that you have to spend with that shitty host. Sometimes the, 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 the PHP version is, is, is outdated. Often it's often outdated because they, they're not going to update. It's not worth it to them. You're paying four bucks a month. And, and so by doing that, you actually lose money by, with all the time that you have to spend the support or, or, or going into your C panel and seeing what the hell is going on. If somebody is hogging up resources on, on, on that shared hosting, then your, your website is going to be super slow. You're not going to know why. And it's because some idiot is, is uh, doing something that, that, that they're not supposed to be doing, which is going to harm the, the, the reputation of the server. And as Bradley said, that, that, that's known as, as a bad neighborhood. So it, 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 in the long run, it ends up costing you money. So stop with the shitty hosting. Go get a liquid web VPS and you can host your, your, your domains on there. You could host your clients on there. You could put several clients on there. You could charge them for it. 50 bucks a month, you have five clients, that's 10 bucks per client. And, and the, the VPS is free for you to use because your clients are, are, are paying for it. And you have the most fabulous support that you can think of. They'll migrate stuff for you if you if you act real dumb. Well, I don't know how to do that. How how, how do I even start? Oh, don't worry about it, Mr. Mr. Benavides. I've had it. We'll take care of it for you. They, uh, when do you want us to do it? What time? Because you know, they, they'll even want it when, when the when the website isn't busy. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I mean, just, just guys, it's, it's just fantastic. And it's the the peace of mind of knowing that if something happens, if you get an attack, God forbid, if if you get hacked then Liquid Web is, is, is right there to help you with whatever it is that you need with others. You have to sit in that fucking queue eternally sometimes. I've been through that, and, yeah. and it's just – it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yep. I think a good host is worth their weight in gold. And like I said, it can become a profit center in your business too. Yep. So. Um, you know, you pay a thousand dollars a year for a good host, uh, and, but you're charging and you got 10 clients and you're charging them, you know, $180 per year, that's $1,800, right? Uh, or if you're charging them monthly, because some clients will just rather pay monthly, then that's, you know, $2,000 or excuse me, um, $20 per month. So $240 per year um, times 10 would be $2,400. So my point is it becomes a, a profit center. Okay. Great revenue stream. Yep. Right. 